What's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt. This is Taco Potato Mustang. I got some stuff in the mail today. Pretty excited about that. Let's check it out. So first, I got a torch, a basic torch kit. So my plan is to use the torch to try and pull this screw out of the horn bracket. Also, I got some cheap brushes that I can use to hopefully finish applying the Pour 15 kit. I got some, um, I can't remember, just some uh, clips or brackets or whatever they're called um, to put the cloth tape and the electrical tape that I will hopefully have more of soon um, around the wiring when I run the wires back um, in front of the radiator. Also, I got a MSD coil, um, which blast co blaster TFI coil, um, which I don't know if it's actually better than the stock one, but it looks better than the stock one. And the stock one is also apparently only being held on to the shock tower by uh, one screw, which is doesn't seem normal. So, yeah. In other news, I am still waiting on a ring terminal, uh, which is fine because I still have to do the rust stuff, but um, yeah, so gonna try and make some progress on the port 15, get the ignition coil, blaster ignition coil thing installed, and um, and then yeah, three mod weight reduction. It's a lot better. It'll do. Didn't record this, but I did get the factory coil thing out. It was actually held on by more than one screw. But there's the space. Here is the old compared to the new. Looks a little bit nicer. The battery on my drill died so i'm charging it in the meanwhile i'm going to do a safety test on the torch that i purchased to make sure that it's not leaking God. Okay, so the torch solution worked for getting the screw out of the horn bracket. Another shout out to the smart people on StangNet forums. Now I need to see if there is a place that I can put the bracket and then see if I have some screws that'll work so that I can get both uh, horns mounted up. So we'll see if this progress continues. So my, what I thought was gonna be genius plan didn't work out. I had found some extra screws uh, that fit in the bracket, but they did not fit in the two holes that lined up 
the perfect distance between the um, holes on the bracket on the frame. So I tried something else. We'll see if this, basically what I did is I put the horn the same place, put both horns the same place that I had them, had the one horn earlier. I just put a couple washers in between them to make up for the little uh, um, like nib thing, whatever you want to call it, on the second horn. So it seems like it'll fit, it's reasonably sturdy. I'm gonna um, plug them in for now. And then eventually when I get the battery hooked back up, we'll see if, if I get um, both the high and the low horns, so. I mean, it'd be nice if I could use the bracket that I just spent all that time um, pulling the screw out of, but I think realistically, what's gonna ha have to happen is I'm gonna have to eventually have a friend who's got welding skills or a shop uh, weld that so I can have it back the way it's supposed to be or something a little bit more ideal, so whatever. So my attempt at a super genius plan did not succeed because I think, well, it looks like the fender protector shield thing, this thing, will not fit with the horns the way that I have it. But that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna get back to working on the rust underneath the battery tray and I'll figure out a solution, a more permanent solution to the horn and fender protector situation at a later date. done underneath the battery tray. It's not pretty, but hopefully that'll do for now. Um, I'm gonna give it a few hours to dry, probably do one more coat, um, depending on how much I got left in that little can. Uh, oh, and by the way, don't be like me. Make sure you wear a mask. I'm pretty sure I just killed some brain cells by forgetting to put my mask on uh, for part of that process, so. Um, <clears throat> yeah, anyways, I am still waiting on, um, a few parts that I need to get the, uh, alternator cable squared away. I just need, I really just need a, um, a ring terminal and some electric tape. Um, hopefully those will be here in the next few days and then I can, uh, um, get the battery tray and battery put back in and then do that SR Performance um, alternator cable and get everything hooked back up, including that MSD um, coil. And then uh, see if we can get the car started, maybe drive it around a little bit before we have to go uh, do anything that takes it out of commission. Anyways, yeah. So it's the next day and the Poor 15 it didn't uh, look quite the way I wanted it last night before I went to bed, so I did not get another coat put on yet, but I'm going to do that today. I think it looks okay. Um, there's definitely a few parts where it needs uh, a little a little bit extra. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put that coat on tonight. And then um, I didn't receive anything in the mail, so I'm still waiting on stuff that I mentioned earlier, but hopefully we'll get that soon and I can make some more progress soon in the next week. 
Anyways, if you're new to my channel and you like my video, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. And uh, be sure to check me out on Instagram. Uh, also, Taco Potato Mustang. Take care. Stay safe. Peace out.